find the area of the triangle whose vertices are here. Uh, so if you have a three-dimensional triangle, a, a triangle in th 3D space, then you use you want to use the fact that the parallelogram's area is given by u cross v's norm. This has the meaning of area of parallelogram given by u vector u and v. Uh, since we're just looking for the triangle, then all you have to do is take half. So what we're aiming for is to compute one half of norm of u cross v. So we calculate the cross product. How do we do that? Well, we're going to call this as the u vector and this as the v vector. You don't have to use these two. You can instead say this is v, that's fine too. But whatever you choose, you always have to calculate the vector u by doing terminal minus initial. So in our case, this is uh, 1, 1, 1. v is terminal minus initial. So in this case, 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 minus 2 is negative 2, 1 minus 0 is 1. Okay, so you have u cross v, which is i, j, k, and then you have 1, 1, 1, 0, negative 2, 1. Okay, so let's expand in the first row i vector times 1 1 negative 2 1 the checkerboard of signs goes plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus so uh, j should have a minus in front whereas k you're back to plus j would have deleting the row and the column containing j you get 1 1 0 1 and then plus K would be deleting the row and the column containing K gives you 1, 1, 0, negative 2. Okay. Uh, and then you do 80 minus BC to calculate the determinant. 1 times 1 is 1 minus negative 2. So it's plus 2. 1 times 1 minus 0. So that's minus. Uh, that's just 1, but there's a minus in front. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 minus 0. So you end up with 3 comma negative 1 comma negative 2. Okay, so what's the what's the half of the norm of u cross v then? This will be half of square root of squares added up. And that's 9 plus 1, which is 10 plus 4. So this 1 half of square root of 14. So that's the answer. Now, what if you have four points and you're looking for the volume of the tetrahedron? Well, in this case, uh, you have to know that uh, the triple scalar product gives you the volume of the parallel piped. So it gives you that. And uh, the relationship between the volume of the parallel piped and the tetrahedron is that it's one sixth of it. Okay. So the way you get it is first you cut it in half. Uh, the half will give you a triangular column and because this is basically like a cone inside the column, uh, the tetrahedron itself will be one third of the column. So it's one half of one third, which is one sixth. So that's the reasoning. Okay, so uh, what I'm trying to say is that the volume of the tetrahedron is one sixth of the volume of the parallel pipe. Alright, but
but how do you get the volume of the parallel pipe? You get one, two, three vectors, and you, you have to do the uh, do the triple scalar product, which is the determinant of a three by three matrix, right? So I'm going to call this U V W. U would be one one zero. That's the terminal minus the initial, which is one one negative one. V would be negative one one three minus the initial and that's going to be negative one one two W would be two one two minus the initial and that's going to be uh, two one negative one okay and then uh, it doesn't matter uh, actually which one to call u v w you could have said u is this v is this and w is that you would still end up being having the same answer okay so uh, what do you do it's one sixth of the triple scalar product which is computed by just putting these vectors as a three by three matrix and we just compute. Um, I wish there was some zero then it would be much better. So you know in hindsight it could have been much better if we cho chose these two because if I choose these two as the vector v then there will be a zero and usually when you expand using the zero it's a lot easier. Okay but it's too late we're stuck with this. Uh, let's expand using the first row so it's uh, 1 times 1, 2, 1, negative 1. Uh, and then 1 times, uh, you know, the checkerboard of signs is one plus, minus, plus, right? So this one has to have a minus. And then negative 1, 2, 2, negative 1. And then that last negative 1 should have a plus in front. And uh, it should be negative 1, 1, 2, 1, which is 1 sixth of negative 1 minus 2, which is negative 3. Negative, that's positive 1 minus 4, which is negative 3, but there's a plus, so it's plus 3. Negative 1 minus 2, so it's negative 3, but times negative 1, so it's positive 3 and you end up with these two cancel you end up with 3 over 6 which is 1 half oh by the way uh, the 3 by 3 matrix determinant sometimes gives you a negative uh, and the sign of the determinant has something to do with the orientation of the vectors which I don't want to go too far uh, all I want to say is that when it comes to volume since volume is positive if ever you get a negative value you just take the absolute value of it and that should be the answer but in this case it is already positive that's good that's the volume of the tetrahedron having these four points